Hello Model Railroad fans, welcome to Vintage Road and Rail. In today's video I've got a set of three boxcars that are celebrating uh, the 500th anniversary of Columbus discovering America. Uh, and if you can, you can't really see it here, but it says 1492 to 1992. Uh, so we're going to be taking a look at those here in just a moment. Uh, but before we uh, do that, uh, if you would, do me a favor and make sure and hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. It uh, would certainly uh, help my channel out. All right, well, enough of that. So let's uh, kind of dive in here and take a look. So what we've got is three 50-foot boxcars. Uh, now, these were sold by Bev Bell, uh, but the cars themselves are actually made by Lifelike. Um, if you're not familiar with Bev Bell, they would buy, I would guess, undecorated cars from the likes of Athern, uh, and I know for sure Athern and Lifelike, but they may have got some from other manufacturers as well. Um, but uh, yeah, these are actually from Lifelike. So, like I said, they are a commemorative set that are celebrating the 500th anniversary of celebrating or of just Columbus discovering America. If I get my words out. So what these are is we've got obviously three cars. And each one is representing one of the ships that Columbus had in his, um, I guess we'll call it an armada for lack of better words. So we have here the Pinta, the Nina, and the Santa Maria. So let's, and I believe the Pinta, if I'm not, if my history is correct, is the one that Christopher Columbus is actually on. So let's uh, start with this bottom one here. And let's go ahead and unbox it, and we're going to take a quick look at it, and then we'll move on to the next car and then the third one. And then when we're done, we're going. I'm up here at the train club. We'll run out there to the uh, layout in the club, and you know, get a get some nice shots of this uh, set going around the layout here. All right, so let's get started. All right, so first here is the Santa Maria in the box. And there's not really anything on these boxes other than that. And in, on this end, you can see where they've got their own little sticker covering where normally would have been the location for Lifelike. Alright, so... Believe it or not, I have not taken these out of the package yet. So I hope there's no surprises in there. Man, let me... Step away for just a second. What did I do with it? Alright. I'm about to get a little something to point with. Alright, so here is the box car out of the package. And I think it looks really nice. The uh, the artwork and the lettering is really crisp, and you can probably zoom in there and actually read the lettering. Um, par for the course for any of these 80s and 90s cars um, all your detail is molded in but it's pretty nice you know you get your molded in for your door and this is going to be a sliding door so it doesn't open and on this end we've got some more molded detail and we have our brake wheel identical there and let's flip it around and we've just got more molded in detail here. And we have a black roof. And because this is a bit older car, we've got the plastic wheels on the trucks. And we've got the horn hook couplers mounted to the trucks versus mounted to the body. And we've got your typical decoration that you would find on the underside of one of these cars. All right, so that's the Santa Maria. Now let's move on to the, the Nina. And there it is in the package. And there's Bev Bell label. So let's go ahead and crack this sucker open. And does that end have tape? Nope. I just couldn't get my finger through there. All right, so give me just a second to have this open. Let me keep these together because the cars are marked as to who goes where. All right. 
right, and just like the other one, we've got some really crisp printing on the side of this car. And we've got a representation of what I believe would be Christopher Columbus. And then over here we have an image of the uh, sailing vessel itself. And I'm going to just kind of flip the car around so you can look, but everything on it is identical as far as your detail, brake wheels included. I love the contrast of the brown and the yellow. And we've got a brown roof. And everything is pretty much the same on that end, or on the bottom, I should say. All right, and finally, let's get to the Pinta. And there's the car. And if any of you out there watching this are old school like myself, you probably remember the little rhyme they taught you in grade school to kind of remember when Columbus discovered America. 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. I don't know that that's politically correct these days, but that's what I was taught in school. And that's that. <laughs> All right, so here's the Pinta. Again, really crisp and nice uh, images and lettering. Everything looks really good. So we got the Pinta, and we got an image of the ship here. And we've got, I'm not entirely sure what you call this image right here, but a lot of uh, families in Europe would have them, I guess like a crest or something like that. Um, but it, But it's really nice. Now this one is solid yellow on the side, and we got our brake wheel. This side's looking really good as well, and we've got a red roof just to break it all up. All right, so I've got the locomotive and caboose from my last video that I'm going to use to pull these around the track. So let me move my tripod into where the layout is and get these recorded. All right, I've got moved out to the uh, club layout here. Got everything set up. And this is actually gonna be probably the shortest train I've ever run up here. I mean, you got three cars, and of course then the one I use to sit in between the horn hook and the uh, knuckle couplers. Uh, usually I don't run anything, I think maybe 15 on, on average, would be the smallest train I run, but a lot of times 20 or 30 cars is what I like to run. Uh, but anyway, this is the locomotive you saw in my last video. If you haven't seen that, I will uh, make sure that there's a link to it at the end of the video. So we've got our Chessy System SD50, and we got our Oscar Mayer car. I know it stands out like a sore thumb based on what, we've, what we're pulling here, but I didn't want to modify these, and I needed something to sit in between this uh, knuckle coupler and these horn hooks. So we have the Pinta, the Nina, the Santa Maria, and we've got ourselves a wide vision chassis system caboose. So let's uh, get the locomotive started up here. That has a really good startup. I love it. It's a Walther's mainline. Runs good, sounds good. A little light on detail. But, that's not our focus. This is what our focus is. So let's go ahead and start getting this train moving. And I'm going to get a little shot of it here, and then I'm going to get a few more shots of it just at uh, various locations around the uh, layout here. And that will wrap up the video. All right, so let's get it moving slowly. And there we go. Nice, nice slow crawl here. Sorry, I'm sitting here waving the camera around. All right, model railroaders. This is the um, Bev Bell 500th anniversary of Columbus discovering America. 50-foot box cars. The cars themselves are made by Lifelight. 
We got our Penta, our Nina, and our Santa Maria. All right. So I'm going to let this train pass by, and I'm going to stop here, then get some footage going around the uh, layout. Uh, so if you enjoy taking a look at these uh, very unique cars, uh, make sure and uh, let me know down in the comments what you think of them. And absolutely hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe. I have lots of interesting things uh, in the pipeline uh, that I'll be doing some videos on soon. All right, well, until the next video, happy model railroading, guys. Take care.